Today we're going to show you how to get up and running with version 13 of Dynamic Web Twain, abbreviated as DWT. Let's try the online demo here at Dynamsoft.com. You'll first be prompted to install the Dynamsoft service. After installation, refresh the page and find the Select Source drop-down menu. In my case, there's an Epson scanner listed. But although the Twain driver for this Epson scanner has been installed on my PC, the scanner is not actually connected to the PC. So instead, let's download a virtual scanner for testing. I'm selecting the 64-bit option. I run the installer here, and then go back and refresh the demo and there's the virtual scanner listed as Twain 2 Free Image Software Scanner. I'll select the Color Radio button option and click Scan. And there's the Sample Color Page Scan. In the same way, I can do a gray color scan. Or a 1-bit black and white scan. Under Preview Mode, we've currently got the window displaying just a single page. But setting it to 2x2 two two shows up to 4 pages at a time. Okay, pretty simple. So now it's time to download the SDK and show how to code a basic DWT-enabled web application. Go to the Dynamic Web Twain product page and click the Download button. If you don't have an account already, create one here. Next, choose the development platform you'll be working on, Windows, Linux, or Mac, and click Download Free Trial. Run the SDK installer. And notice where the default install location is on your PC. See Program Files x86, Dynamsoft, Dynamic Web Twain SDK 13.1 trial. Clicking Finish opens an HTML page from the install directory with instructions on how to build a scan page in five minutes. That's what we'll be doing momentarily. Notice also here that there are links to code samples and to documentation, which you should examine later to get a more thorough understanding of the Dynamic Web Twain SDK. For now, let's go back to the Hello World Basic Scan page and work through the steps to construct a basic web-based Twain scanning control. So looking now in the install directory out in Windows Explorer, you'll see a resources directory. It contains the JavaScript files and other Dynamic Web Twain resources, and it is the essential set of resources you need to make a DWT web application. Let's start coding that web application in Visual Studio, where I'm creating a new website project called Hello World. In Windows Explorer, copy the Dynamic Web Twain resources from the install directory to the Hello World project directory. And then back in Visual Studio, Hit the Refresh button in the Solution Explorer, and then you can see that Resources directory appear. Next, I add an HTML page, giving it the name Hello World. Inside the head tags, add two script tags to link to the Initiate and Config scripts in the Dynamic Web Twain Resources directory. Now in the body of the HTML page, I'm adding a div with ID DWT control container. This is where we'll view scanned images. I'm creating a scan button with this input tag, which will use the acquire image method. And then at the end, here's the script with that acquire image method. And that's all, we're done. So let's save it. And start without debugging to run it. And here's the basic running web application showing the DWT control container div and the scan button, which I'm clicking. And now selecting the virtual scanner as source. And then we're presented with a dialog to set scanning options, which if you create a more full featured implementation of Dynamic Web Twain, you'd set in the web page. But for now, I'm clicking scan here. And there's the scanned sample image from our virtual scanner. This concludes our intro to the DWT SDK. Thanks for watching.